Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I wanted to show off a useful tool that I've used quite a lot. Um, and the tool is called UQ. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so the tool UQ, um, it's, it's not widely known. So I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to get started with it. Um, but the, the, the word UQ, or at least the name UQ is supposed to be Universal Query or something like that. Uh, let me open up the website for it. So, Kennedy slash UQ. Um, and this was written by a friend of mine who worked at Yelp with me. Um, Universal Deserializer. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, in order to install it, we're gonna need to use the Go toolchain. So we'll use go get uh, github.com slash solar Kennedy slash UQ. This should install the tool. Uh, go bin. Yeah, cool. So I'm going to put that on the path. Uh, depending on how you have your go set up, it might already be there. So export path equals till go bin uh, path and then which UQ should resolve. Okay, cool. So anyway, the way you, you use it uh, is you can load a bunch of other formats. And these are the ones that it supports right now. And it will spit out a target format. So I actually find this most useful. Uh, so I have, I have a couple files here. I have a Tommel file, a YAML file, and a JSON file. Uh, let's call it on the pre-commit configuration. So the cool thing that it does is it'll load it in whatever format and then spit it out in a different format. So in this case, we're converting YAML into JSON. And I find that this is really, really useful to chain into JQ, which is a JSON querying tool. So let's say that we wanted to find, I don't know, all of the repository URLs. So I could use UQ this, pipe it to JQ, uh, dot repos, this will access all of the repos. It is an array, and then we want to access the repo element on all of those. And so we can do this, and you'll see that we can, you know, use JQ on YAML files now, which is really cool. Um, and, you know, of course, if you wanted this, like, raw output to get just the strings, or maybe maybe do something with, with these later, um, but yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about this tool. <laughs> Um, it also works with Toml, so it's a little bit buggy with non-YAML files at the moment. Um, it, UQ assumes everything is YAML. It's supposed to have an auto-detect mode, but I think the auto-detect mode is either broken or non-existent. Uh, so that might be a good patch to make if somebody is interested in making an open source country show. <laughs> Detect input format, return YAML. <laughs> yeah, so it assumes it's YAML. For some reason, um, this, uh, this gets loaded as YAML and then the rest of this is just ignored. My guess is it's a little bit buggy and could use some improvements. Uh, but anyway, if, if you need to convince it of a particular format, you can use dash, dash format and toml, uh, dash s toml, sorry. And, uh, then you can load, you know, toml or YAML. It has m some support for XML as well. Um, but yeah, I find this tool is really, really useful to chain um, to into JQ and use universal querying. Uh, but anyway, want to show that tool off. Hopefully, this is useful. I'll remember. I'll try and remember to put a link to GitHub in the description. Um, but thank you all for watching. And if you have additional things you want to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. And I'll see you in the next one.